In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Android phone using the SmartSync app to Pioneer's SPH10BT. What software do I need to make the Pioneer SmartSync app work on my InDash receiver? Let's start with the InDash receiver. Go to pioneerelectronics.com and download and install the latest firmware update for your particular InDash receiver. The SmartSync app will work with selected Android-based phones operating on the Android OS version 5.0 or newer. Go to the Google Play Store and search for Pioneer SmartSync. Look for this icon in the store. SmartSync is a free app from Pioneer. Download and install the Pioneer SmartSync app on your phone. The first step in setting up the SmartSync app to work with your Android phone on SPH10BT is to make a Bluetooth connection from the phone to the InDash receiver. So I have the InDash receiver switched on here and it, we're on the AM FM radio. Uh, I'm just going to open up my settings and I'm going to go to Bluetooth and I'm going to say pair a new device. So that'll search for devices. Once we find SPH10BT, that's the InDash receiver, we'll select that on the screen. Now that will generate a pairing request. So the pairing request here is 137543. That's the same number down here. That's good. So we'll say pair, and we're going to say yes on the InDash receiver. And now the two devices are paired. So I can close this up. Now if I touch my telephone button here, that shows me my device list and the Pixel 2 is the active phone, that's this phone. So let me just start the SmartSync app. And now I'm going to press and hold the telephone button for a couple of seconds. And that will start the app. Now you can see we got the app link or the connection up to the InDash receiver. That's when you see the illumination across the bottom of the screen. And we'll say OK. And we can give this a turn. OK, so I've connected my phone through Bluetooth to the InDash receiver. We're good there. Now I just want to check a couple of settings on the InDash receiver to make sure we're all set up and ready to go for the SmartSync app. So uh, let's get into the system menu here. We're going to press and hold the home button for a couple of seconds. That brings up the menu and we're going to use the arrow to the right button until we find the system menu. Here's system. We enter the system menu by pressing the uh, home button and we want to roll along here until we find app control. Here's app control and we enter that menu by pressing enter. And we have two choices under app control. This is Bluetooth or we can use a wired connection. Uh, we can use both of them, but we want to show you a, a Bluetooth connection in this demonstration. So we'll just confirm yes uh, and then hit the arrow to the left to go back out. And I can connect up to the app by starting the app. Now I'm going to touch the telephone button one time to make sure that in my device list I have the correct phone connected. That's the Pixel 2. That's this phone. That's the one I want. So now just press and hold that telephone button for a couple of seconds and that will force the connection to the app. You can see that the illumination came up on the bottom of the, uh, the InDash receiver and we can say OK and we're up and running with the app. Now, in this case, you can see that the uh, SmartSync app is not up on the phone, on the Android phone, but it's still connected to the InDash receiver because we can see the illumination here and here. And all we need to do to bring the app back is touch the home button. And you can see that that brings the app back up to the front on the phone. Uh, 
Another way that I can connect the app is through the USB connection. To do that, I want to make sure that I'm not connected to the app, and you can see there's no illumination across the bottom here. The app is not active on the phone. So I'm going to go to the Home button, press and hold for a couple of seconds, and we'll get into the System menu. There's the menu, and here's System. That's the one I want, but we can scroll along here with the right arrow till we get to System and press Enter. And here, I want to get to App Control. Here's App Control, so we'll press in on the Home button. And we have two choices here, Bluetooth. That's what we've shown you previously in the video. We can also use a wired connection. So I'll just confirm yes, I want a wired connection. And I like to check one more setting here and that is USB Auto. I want USB Auto set to Yes. You can also have it set to No. For this demonstration, I want it set to Yes. And now we will hit Back, and go back out to the radio, and now I'm just going to plug my phone in through USB. So here's the USB port. We'll open that up. Plug in through USB and then plug in the phone. You can see that the app immediately starts up and we get our illumination across the bottom so that we know we have the link to the app.